All right guys, tonight we are having a chicken fajita noodle casserole. So I have a video on this in case you guys wanna check it out. I'll leave it right there. And uh, it's pretty simple. It's just some red bell pepper, green bell pepper, uh, a red onion, and then a can of cream of chicken soup, some sour cream, and then some Fiesta cheese, and then the noodles. Cook it all together, um, and you eat it. So this is what we're having tonight. Okay, so tonight we're having chicken strip wraps, which I got these um, at Costco. Actually, they're chicken tenderloins, and uh, they're covered in panko breading. So I think they're gonna be really good, because so far they look great. I hadn't tried them yet. And then just on the side, we have some uh, grapes and then some cucumber and carrots. And then we have some ranch. We also have some buffalo wing sauce to top on top of the wraps. Okay, so for dinner tonight, it's coconut chicken tenders and some green beans. I get these at Costco. And I haven't done a video on this yet, uh, the coconut chicken, but I will if you guys are interested. It's pretty simple. I just batter it um, and some panko breadcrumbs and some uh, coconut and like coconut flakes and then I deep fry it in some coconut oil and it just makes for a very light, sweet chicken tender. And the chicken, I use the chicken that I get from Zacon Fresh and we really like it. Okay, so tonight is quinoa taco night. So I made uh, just a burrito bowl, which uh, down here is a cilantro lime rice. And this is quinoa taco, uh, like a topping. So it's supposed to be um, in substitution for ground beef. And I've tried it a little bit and I think it's really gonna be good. It's very tasty. I also have some uh, pinto beans, some Monterey Jack cheese, and some sour cream. All right, everybody, coming in for round two here. <laughs> we got the, uh, the corn tortilla action with the cilantro lime rice, the quinoa topped with a little, what is it, pepper jack? Yeah. Pepper jack cheese. Or Monterey Jack. Or Monterey Jack. And I got a little fresh cilantro mixed in the old salsa bowl. Here we go. Get a close up of this. Oh, here we go. Taco meat filling. Oh yeah, I can't wait, this looks good. Okay, so I had to step outside real quick to film this because it is so loud inside. But tonight I made sushi bowls. So I've been wanting to try this and I'm gonna leave the link down below in case you wanna try it. So um, at the very bottom, it's just some sushi rice that I'll leave the link to that recipe as well. Very simple to make. And then I shredded up some carrots. And then uh, what's in the middle is nori paper. Um, like it, it's a kind of like a snack size that I got at Walmart. So I just uh, cut that up into squares. And then some avocado right there. And then some uh, crab crab meat which is left over from the last time we last time we made sushi and then some cucumbers and oh I forgot um I also made sriracha uh, mayo to go on top. I forgot to add that, but that's inside. It's just basically um, a few tablespoons of mayo and then some sriracha sauce. You mix it together and you drizzle, drizzle that on top. And then I also have some um, seeds. What are those called? Sesame seeds at the top. Um, and I'm also going to add some uh, soy sauce, but I'm really excited about this. It looks super good. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we're just having some spaghetti. And uh, these are my uh, crescent rolls. They're called garlic bomb. Uh, crescent rolls where uh, there's a little piece of mozzarella cheese in the middle and then I uh, um, took some herb garlic butter from Kerrygold and I melted it down and I brushed it on top and I'm really excited so this is like seriously the best butter in the world. <laughs> 